Do these look like the exact same unit to you? Well, they look pretty much the exact same to me with only one minor difference on the front here. Here I have the EcoFlow Delta 1 Max and here the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. And initially up front, there's really not a lot you can see that's different. The biggest differences are on the internals and that's what I wanna go over. Because on the front here, there's either this IoT reset button right here, which is for connectivity, or here there's just a light, which is just a light that indicates if this is in pairing mode or if you've paired it up with your app which the app is very easy to use with both of these units and very easy to connect and you can see everything going in and out and control everything. These Delta Max units have been some of my favorite to go with when you need very good portability but still a lot of power output. I've used these for running sump pumps and water pumps around my property, running fridges and freezers remotely at my off-grid cabin, charging up tools, laptops, drone batteries, all of those things. This definitely can do all of the small things and a lot of the bigger things. Obviously nothing 240 volt, but I wanna go in this video all into the details about what is the difference between these two and if you should consider getting one of these for emergency preparedness. So with that, I'm Ben, this is the Minuteman Prep Channel. Let's get right into it. Here we've got the EcoFlow Delta One Max. On the side, there are two battery ports. Each one of these is an XT150 connector. That means you can have either one expansion battery and one smart generator or two expansion batteries. On the front, you've got four USB-A, two USB-C, and six AC outlets. And that sideways slash there on the outlet means you can do up to 20 amps per outlet. We've got the cigarette lighter port on the bottom and the other DC plugs. And here is all the input. You can have fast input and slow input from the wall charger and then up to 800 watt through the XT60i connector there on the left. So this allows you to use solar panels in many different configurations because of the charge parameter. The cooling works really well. The housing is good. And these specs here are the most important specs that I usually look at, which is the battery capacity, the recharge ability of the AC input, rechargeability of the DC input from solar, and how high it can go up to. This is the EcoFlow Delta II Max, and you can see the front looks pretty much the exact same. The side has the exact same ports using these XT150 plugs. Same thing, you can put two batteries or one battery and one smart generator. I like the dual fuel generator to go with it. And of course the outlets look the exact same on the back as well. So I think they use the exact same housing between these systems, but what's different is what is underneath the flap here. It's rearranged just a little bit. We still have the C14 input for the wall charging and the fast and slow charger, but now we have two solar inputs on the side. We still have the same two fans on the side. These do a really good job of cooling. I have never had them get hot. And on the EcoFlow Delta II Max, these are the specs. They're very similar to the EcoFlow Delta I Max, with the biggest difference being the solar input and the type of battery. The Delta II Max uses a lithium iron phosphate, whereas the Delta I Max uses a lithium NMC, which is lithium ion, which isn't rated to as much of, or as many cycles, but it does have less weight, whereas the lithium iron phosphate is heavier. You can see by the front of these here, they really do look almost identical. There's hardly anything different on the front except for that little button on the left, on the Delta I Max. Whereas on the right, it just has a little indicator light showing that it's pairing. To turn them on, all you do is click them on, just hold for a couple of seconds, and each one of these will turn on, and this red indicator light shows that it, this was a beta unit from EcoFlow. I was fortunate enough to be able to test. Got the Wi-Fi connected to it, and the app works wonderful. From the side profile, again, these are looking the exact same. There's no difference in the body except for minor differences. So they basically took the exact same shape, but you can see the fan boxes are slightly different. The fans are bigger in the Delta II Max. On the back here, we have the exact same outlets rated to, two, uh, rated to 20 amps output. But underneath the cigarette lighter ports, you're not gonna find anything different. These are two regulated, or each one of these are regulated 12 volt outlets, which means you're gonna get about 13.8 volts all the way out. And these here, you still have the fast and slow charger, except they're in different positions on these different units. And that's because the Delta II Max 
as two solar input ports. Now each one of these uses an XT60i connection, which has this extra pin, and on the Delta 1 Max is on the side, and on the Delta 2 Max it's here on the top. This is indicated by a different type of connector. You can see here on the left, the orange one is the XT60i, and the right one is the yellow XT60. The difference is the XT60i is able to handle a higher amperage going through the cable and through that connector. So you can use an XT60 in an XT60i, you can do that with these solar panels, but you'll end up likely damaging it if you have high amperage. The beauty of these systems is you can use any type of solar panel. These are 200 watt solar panels, and I have them on this makeshift ground mount because I use this array to do all sorts of testing with different solar generators. And so right now, I actually have 20 of these 200 watt solar panels out, and it's a perfectly clear sunny day with no obstructions at all. And I'm able to get the full rated input on both those units. I also have used these in my RV. They're very easy to connect. And you can see I've got 2,100 watts of solar on here. And that's more than what I can put into either the Delta 1 Max or the Delta 2 Max. But for RVs and different types of van life setups, you really can use panels in that way with these two units. The Delta 1 Max is being replaced by the Delta 2 Max. You really have all the benefits in the Delta 2 Max as you do as the Delta 1. Between the Delta 1 Max and the Delta 2 Max, there are a lot of similarities, but definitely the Delta 2 Max has the bonuses that we're all really looking for. Now, the cool thing about these is these are a perfect setup for van life or small RV type setup, especially if you're using an energy efficient air conditioner and refrigerator. Or if you have real basic needs at your home, for example, a fridge, freezer, lights, fans, maybe a CPAP machine, very simple things where you're not running air conditioners or heaters or laundry machines or anything big like that. These systems really can hold up to those tests. Now, I've tested literally dozens of solar generators. And as far as ones that are very portable and have a good amount of energy output, there's basically nothing that these systems here cannot run that's a 120 volt device. And the fact that they have fast wall charging and really good solar input, this whole system can be charged in a single day while still running basic equipment. And for emergency preparedness, that's exactly what we're looking for. I'll have links down below if you're interested in these, but more than anything, I appreciate you tuning in. Email me if you have questions to info at poweredportablesolar.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.